Welcome to Trading Lounge and the uh, US tech stocks. Just before we start, though, we're going to be adding um, uh, Forex to our service. I mean, I've been doing it in the video, but we're going to start adding charts now. There'll just be a daily chart once a week, and we're going to do a four-hour chart uh, each day on these particular pairs, okay? So we're bringing on another analyst uh, to uh, do those. So hopefully that will help and... Uh, Obviously, there's no extra charge when you use Trading Lounge. Um, everything is open. We don't charge for this and that and do all that sort of rubbish. So I think it's important that people get access to everything you have in a way because um, all the markets are connected in a way, you know. Uh, the other point, too, is that um, with our new website, we've got the um, the boys have put the um, uh, uh, the stock portfolio in. Um, here so you'll be able to get trade recommendations here and have a portfolio and trade calculator and and manage everything um, in that space so we, we're, we're we're getting there with that we've got to add the crypto one in here and there's a few other tools that we need to add and we're transferring uh, folks over to to the new site um, at the moment <clears throat> okay um, back to or over to rather the um, well, the Nasdaq, really, before we have a look at the tech stock. So there's just a couple of things I wanted to point out um, with the Nasdaq here. You know, with the trend, it doesn't matter what degree of structure that you're looking at. There's a beginning, there's a middle, and there's an end. Um, so we can see, obviously, where the beginnings is. You've got the building process here, and then you've got the middle, which we're basically just been through. And it's not it's not that we're coming to the end. We've still got, you know, three, four, five, four, five to go up. But the thing is, it, all of this up here, this all these fours, all these fours and fives. Um, will be a little bit like this here, but in, in reverse, you know, this will be the centre of the trend and you could flip this one over back on its head up this way, upside down, um, and you get the same sort of picture. So it's a bit tricky going into wave four, so we're going to have plenty of them. So it's going to be a bit of a hard slog at that point. I mean, I'm just giving you the bad news. It might be easier and some will be easier than others. Um, but what you see is not what you get next. The other point here too, obviously, with this market is that, um, you know, Apple's taken the top out here and NVIDIA and all those sorts of things. But um, the NASDAQ is arriving at the old high here. So that's also going to create, um, you know, volatility to say the least. Okay, so... Um, we've done quite well out of a lot of the stocks in all of this, and we can, you know, continue to, um, you know, scrape uh, money off here and there and so on. But just letting you know that we're approaching the top on the NASDAQ and we're going into a lot of threes and you know, fours and fives up here. And this is going to be the same with uh, a lot of the stocks. Now, uh, in terms of timing, it's good to be able to get the herd, the, the majority of stocks, uh, into this particular count. Now, some are more advanced um, and some are some are leading and some are following. So it's uh, they're slightly sort of off in some cases that we're already, we can put this way for here in some of the markets, you know, uh, in some of them, <coughs> we can't get there just yet. Um, so this is sort of where we are at the moment, really. So from wave four here, we're going up to wave five. We're looking for one, two, three, four, five up here. So I'm just going to cut straight through on the NASDAQ to um, uh, to the intraday, which I think we been looking at this on the 20K tick here. So picking it up from that blue wave four and going up to to um, blue wave five. So from four to five here. So we're looking up as one and two here. And then we need to go up to green three, four and five to finish this one. So then we get into this wave four. Now this wave four should be bigger than this one. So yeah, uh, the idea is not to lose money uh, in those uh, corrections. So as far as the NASDAQ goes, we're gonna see something like this here to finish that off. Uh, and then we're going to see a larger correction come into play. How large? Well, first of all, it can come back to the way four of one lesser degree or 38.2%. doesn't have to. It could loiter around the top of um, 15, 3 and 2 and those sorts of things. So we just need to give it some space to do whatever it needs to do at that point. Um, yeah, and like I said, we'd be getting pretty close to the top at that point. So this kind of 
you know, measures up with some, some of the stocks, um, you know, are, are in the same boat uh, here. Some are <coughs> some are leading, some are lagging. So the ones that are leading making new highs. So we've got like Google and Microsoft that have come, they're sort of, with, they've had corrections and they've got away one here and they need two, three, four, five. They will be good trading up. But there's other stocks like Tesla that's up around a big number, um, Meta, sto uh, Meta platforms, um, those sorts of things. So, yeah, we just need to be a little bit uh, mindful um, of things. So, but anyway, it just gives you a bit of a picture of where we are, but we'll talk about the indices uh, in the next video. So uh, with Apple here, I just wanted to have a look at the uh, the bigger picture here as well for Apple uh, because, you know, it's a leading market. It's taken out the top here. And we can quite clearly see that we have wave one and two here. And, um, yeah, I, I can still see there's different ways that we can count this to the upside here. Um, but we'll bring it in line, you know, um, with the rest of the count and the markets. But we can be assured of one thing is that, you know, when we hit the 200 here, we're going to be sort of, well, the market's going to vibrate around here, you know, for a while. So it's going to be a bit of a sticky sort of situation. Now there's a couple of different ways to count this here. I've got it in the conservative way here. I could look at this here as one, two, three, four, five, and put one and two here, put this two over to here, and then bring this one over to here and extend it out a little bit further. So I'm under, um, I'm aware of um, different counts and the next sort of strongest count uh, with all of this, but in a way it kind of doesn't matter in a sense because it's going to hit here and it's going to come back and then it's going to push up and then it's going to, you know, it's going to have its little dance across here. So the main point is, is that, you know, if this is your trading stock is that, you know, you can trade it to the 200 or thereabouts, um, but then you've got to kind of let it go a little bit and be extra careful. And I always find that it's better to trade less, like straight away, just half your position size, you know, um, if you're addicted to, being in, in that particular market. But yeah, being in the market around large numbers is it's not really the done thing. It's just best to allow them to unfold. And look, they will go up and, um, you know, above the 200 and you'll think that they're going off at that point, you know, um, and you think you're missing it, then you'll get out and then you'll find that it'll be pulled back into that number again. So it'll get you caught in a washing machine, so to speak, and you'll be, you know, you'll be screwed. So um, just be very careful about that. So I was going to go in and pick it up from this wave four here somewhere on the, so yeah, so this could be a blue wave four here, right? Or, or blue wave three up here based on this here and give me another little leg to the upside here. But I don't think it matters too much at this point because we're still going to be getting a pattern around that level there. So I'm going to go from one day to 100 ticks and we're going to bring in some more data here. Um, so we've been in this for a little while, this one, so um, these positions. So, uh, yeah, it does haunt me a little bit here because um, I can see that I can see that this move down here can be counted as five waves, you know, as one, two, three, A, B, C for four and down for five here. I can see that that can be counted. So that means that this can be some sort of B wave up to here right, and then have this down here, and then this way forward need to come, you know, over over here for that. So that it's possible. Um, it's not like it really moved off on the Friday. You know, we got this nice impulse wave here, but sometimes, you know, when you get a sharp move like that, it can be an A wave. So we could look at this as an A wave, a B wave, one, two, three, four, five over here, and then come down. So I'm going to keep a little bit of a tighter stop. I've brought the stop up from uh, down here somewhere to here. Um, we can put it under here. So these these positions here will be exposed. Um, but uh, it depends if you've got more positions down here. It's either going to, you know, affect you or not affect you at that point. Um, so the other thing is, is that, you know, if, if that's a big deal that's too far away from you, then you could go into this space here because it has tested that level now. Um, but yeah, so I'll just, I'm just letting you know my fear here on, on this. But normally what I find is that we should just get sucked up to the 200 at this point. You know, because in a way, 
it's this 190 here. You can see how it sort of pushed up and then the distance above because it didn't really stop here. I normally say the distance above will be the distance below and then this becomes the balance line through here. Um, so we've got the impulse wave here. Um, such not a very good impulse wave here, but it's sort of okay-ish. Um, so we should be pushing up and this number up here should be the magnet that helps pull it up. So anyway, just shoot the breeze on that. Okay, let's cruise along to um, uh, Amazon and uh, just on the intraday here on 100 ticks. So um, yeah, so this is where we are with this at the moment. Just sort of, yeah, that's okay, I got it. So um, it's probably, there could be some risk at the 140 for this to come down. Um, so it's probably a good idea to take some money off the table um, at the 140. Don't have to take it all off. We could take a, a chunk of it off um, at that point and we'll just keep a little bit of an eye on it. Uh, but it wouldn't hurt to to do that because if I've got this as, um, I've got it as blue wave three and blue wave um, uh, four here. And if I'm counting five waves up here, then it's possible for this to come down and check this again after that and then move up. So I need to keep a bit of an eye on that. So either... Um, yeah, we can take the money off at that point. That I mean, the, the, the tie into the S&P, so let's just do that, shall we? Better to be safe than sorry. Easier to get back in in this case. Yeah, that's okay. Um, so NVIDIA, so this is the bigger picture on NVIDIA here as well. Um, I could put this wave one over here too, which is probably the right way to go. Um, but still one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five here. So once again, we're coming close to that 500 mark here, which is our target area. And we're also getting into, well, these will be ones and twos. And now we're getting into fours and fives here. So it's a completely different game at this point. So we need to be a little bit careful. We're looking for one, two, three, four, five to finish off up here. And then this wave four can pull back to this wave four. This wave four didn't pull back to this wave four, but it 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 um it got overlapping wave structures here. So when this comes up to here, it's likely to come down and overlap at least this top of this wave three here. Okay. So it's quite a, a distance in that uh, in that regard. Just check here. It's the same count. Just um, yeah, this one's this is the same count, just different labeling. So um, it's got a different wave one here. But still, we're looking at all of this up here being also wave one up here and coming back for wave two at this point. Um, and this will be a contention for a lot of Elliott Wave people and not just Elliott Wave people, but technical analysis people as well, of like actually having a, you know, serious top up here as well. I mean, it will be a serious top, but, um, you know, after five waves, we're going to get, um, you know, a 50, 60 percent, you know, pullback at that point, which can pull back to 61.8 percent over here for that, you know. So five waves up here and then pulling back at that point. In the meantime, this trend is not finished and uh, we cruise along. So we're just going to go to the 10,000 ticks. We're going to go to 100 ticks and we're going to pick it up from this area through here and just get some, it's that blue wave four here. <clears throat> so we've got this as one and two here. Then we've had, we've been working through this a little bit sharp for a wave four, but um, we can still view it as a little A wave, a B wave, one, two, three, four, five here. So I'm thinking we've got <clears throat> at least one more little move up here for this. I've got a few positions in here, so I think I might just copy this and put that there and protect that in terms of that situation. <clears throat> and we also <clears throat> Definitely want to take money off the table at this at this area. I mean, you kind of want to do it before it. Don't have to get sort of too cheeky about these things. Anything above the top here, there to there. 
I mean, normally, if if I was sort of swing trading, I'd be taking a percentage at the at number eight here as I'm moving up here. I didn't. I may have said it, probably didn't. Um, but that would be the norm at that point, taking some money off at group two here and the rest of it up here. <clears throat> normally, I do it at the 72 myself personally, but um, even though it's call eight a profit taking number. Okay, so um, meta platforms. So this is going to be pulled back to this number. This is a um, you know a, uh, a large number, and this is the swing range for that large number, which is three up the top, and then down here at group two, sixty five, seventy two, and eighty. And uh, yes, it can trade above the top here. Um, but we've been looking at three, four, and five up here for this. So we can kind of, and also too, this is like the arrival, the reaction, the first high above the level. So we're looking for five waves up here. And really, I could probably look at this as, this as green wave one and two and three, four, five here. So we need to be careful. But I think based on what we can see with the markets, we need to push up uh, here for, for that. But this particular pattern across this level here, um, because it reacted here, it will play out like like this um, here. Just get that in the frame. So it'll be the arrival which we've had. We've had that, and now we're in five waves moving up here above this level here. So somewhere up here, it's it's you know most of the time <laughs> um, it will fold back here. It doesn't have to, but because it reacted here, it's got some weight. This mark, this numbers, this price point across here has got some weight to it. So this price point across here has some weight to it because it put a bit of a dent in the trend at this point. Um, so at some point we should see it come back. If I've made a mistake, then um, on the top of group one here, if that becomes a classic trading levels pattern and trading above it, like just sort of breaking through like that that's um, not completed at that point. So it can do that type of thing, but we still have to wait for it to come back and, and rework it at that at that point. But most of the time, I mean, we're not into the, when we haven't traded this through around this number here, but um, yeah, and this can, this can also come back, you know, to this number here as well. So unless it finds a classic trading level pattern on 30 up here, then they could just continue up at that point, but otherwise I'd be expecting it to um, s discover more weakness here. And this is quite a big correction here, isn't it, compared to these last couple in here. So it is telling you that, that it's, it is bending at this point. Um, <clears throat> Netflix here, we've been in this for a little while as well with these positions. So I'm just going to tighten the stop up. You know, I, it'll be nice to get up to the top here, but... Um, I have to say, this particular move up through here, this, um, um, yeah, it's just not really doing it for me, really. So I've got to bunch all that together as one, two, three, four, five to here as one and two. Then I'm left with a three, four, five here, which is kind of okay ish, but, um, and then I've got a corrective pattern here. So I expect the top to be taken out. So that's taken out. So I'm just hoping that it continues to build up here but I just need to be a little bit careful. We may not reach it up here. So I've got the stop here. We've got a few of these are exposed at this point, but if you've got some further down here, that's okay. I'm not, sh not saying it's going to come down just yet, but most of the markets I can see that need to push up, then they can push down at that point, you know? So I'm wondering if we've got to kind of weave that wave five here, up here, if we've got to weave it in, to some sort of pattern down here somewhere, you know, it's just a little bit messy here. I can see that it's struggling, you know, it's, it's, but, it, but it's give, doing all the right things. It's showing me five waves up all the time and three waves back all the time and five waves up and three back. So we're still, we're still trending in that direction. It just hasn't got the right sort of look and feel about it. Something's not quite right about it, you know, so I'm going, I've brought the stock from here to here. Um, and that, shouldn't be breached at that point unless we're going to make that five ways with some sort of one two yes that's not going to fit yeah anyway whichever way i look at this is the best fit so far but it's just not the great fit i can assure that's for sure so um uh alphabet google so 
we've got uh, we've got this corrective pattern down here. We should take out this top here. Um, currently, we're looking for five waves up here. We don't have five waves just yet. With another move to the upside here, that would give us five waves to the upside. Okay, so we've got one, two, one, two, and three, four, five here for the third, fourth, and so on. So um, you can take some money anywhere at uh, before one twenty eight. So one twenty seven, one twenty seven. That's one twenty seven twenty. Um, they're basically um, 72 number group two. So this is, it may reach the 130 up here, doesn't have to, and it could pull back a little bit deeper here as well. So the, if I took it to here, then the 38.2% retracement level is down, down here. <clears throat> Will it move down here? I don't know, um, but it, it could, you know what I mean? So it puts turns these green into red and don't particularly like doing that. So taking, you know, you know, 60% off up here would, wouldn't sort of hurt. We can get back in. Um, it's not, not such a big deal to get back in at this point. But uh, yeah, as far as the crow flies, we should be seeing, this is Microsoft, it's the same. We should see one, two, three, four, five up here. So I'll leave that up to you about how much you take out and how much heat you want to take on, on this. Um, so if, if the 120 is the 61.8%, that means that when we do come down here, we don't put the stop at 120, we put it under here. We wait for the first low below the level. Once we've got that first low below the level, then we'll put the stop in at that point. We need that little spike down first, you know. So it's a long way to hold it. So I'll leave you to decide what you need to do. You could take it all off there and get back in. It doesn't really, you know, it's not a, not a, it's not a biggie, you know. Um, we'll get back in. We'll go long above the B wave. And Microsoft is the same as Google. It's got that. And, you know, it's got this nice ABC pattern here. So with with Google, if I can bring that back, you could go like one, two, three, four, five, and but we do have overlap there, so it's not the best count. We do have three waves up there, so it could fail. So we could have this as an A, B, and C wave down here, but it's just not going to be the case. We'll, you know, the probability going up here is very high because of what we've got here with Microsoft. This particular pattern here is corrective. Yeah, it could be that um, we also have a B wave up here, like a larger A, B and C wave down here. Um, but uh, we'd still be going up at that point because we've taken this B wave out here. So that's made the whole pattern here corrective. So we will be taking the top out here, well, like we've done already. But that doesn't matter. A B wave can take the top out there anyway. Um, so we should be, um, you know, pretty confident that we could be going up further. It's the same thing here as well, um, counting five waves up here and um, looking for... that correction to come back. So you can take some off the table at that point. But we definitely want to catch that third wave up there. And what we've got here, Tes Tesla. So I've also brought the stop way up here as well because we've got positions down here um, and a few in here and a few in here and a few here and all that sort of stuff. So we kind of got the bulk of them out of the way by bringing the stop here. Um, we should get pulled up to the top here. We want to be taking, you know, exiting the trade up there. It could just continue to go through, but we'll we'll work it and we'll do some day trading, um, short-term swing trading through there. I've got this as wave one here because it pulled back uh, here, but we could view this as one and two and three and four and five up here, you know. That's what I'm kind of thinking. But <clears throat> if I line it up with... Um, with Microsoft, for instance, then we've got this wave one here and two here. That's the same as Google. So that's kind of the same as this in a way. It's it's different, but we can look at it as one, two, three, four, five. So we'll probably end up at, um, you know, up at the 320 area up here somewhere with this. But at the same time, I'm just going to tighten the stop. And that also means two at the 270 here. 
is two seven. We don't put it on 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 large numbers. Um, we wait for like here. Like if I was going to put a stop here, I want a decent. I want a decent spike here first. Once I've got that, then I can put the stop up under that. Then it's it's just it will save it will save you. It, it works. It, it doesn't work all the time, but it works enough to think about that. You know, because normally what you do, what people do, is they go. Um, I'll put the stop at 280. They just get drawn to that number, you know, when you should just allow it to wait for that. Um, because in this case, um, it looks like we've got an ABC here. But if you had the stop at 280, then you'd be out of the market. And this could be the ABC and taking all the stops out and then going off at that point, you know. So um, anyway, um, that's that. Alrighty. Thanks for tuning in. Cheers.